everyone. Uh, I'm back. I'm here with my girl Flash. And uh, it's been a while since I last did a video. So I thought I would give you some updates because there are some changes in my doll collection that I'm going through and I wanted to talk about that. And maybe you have some similar experiences as well, so I definitely want to hear about that. Um, yeah, just to know maybe that I'm not alone and how others dealt with it. But basically, um, I've been evaluating my collection. Well, that sounds a bit weird, but basically I've been looking at my collection and thinking about it and, um, you know, kind of... You know when you look at your group and the dynamic of it is just not right and like kind of off not like in a super bad way just like in a way that okay I don't really want it to be that way somehow and um yeah there's been also some dolls that I felt like well I have to do like I have to finish them right and then there's this pressure also that you put on yourself which of course is always stupid but, um, yeah, I mean, my main problem was definitely the dynamic because there's, well, I have a whole story and character. Okay, she's the, she's the main character. <laughs> she's the main character of the story. Um, and yeah, just some characters together, some do that I had as dolls were kind of different, which is interesting to have like, you know, that can happen, right? That you have an idea of a character and then you get it as a doll and then it's like, okay, do I know you? <laughs> right? It's just shifting things and relationships in ways that just added more drama than I wanted. Does that make sense? So, and also some, I know I felt like, because there were so many unfinished dolls, I was like, well, yeah, I don't have the motivation to finish them at all actually and I realized that well I don't yeah I don't really I have, I'm not so well in invested and attached to them so I decided to let them go and yeah those make up for pretty much half my collection <laughs> which is crazy because I've had a huge I mean for my ideas like I have what six full dolls and two floating heads um plus a pet doll well I had two pet dolls but I will already let go of one which actually was the hardest doll to let go of so I was just like oh yeah I can sell everybody I don't care no obviously like I could never sell her right um could never let go of my baby and yeah where was I? Now I lost my point. Anyway, one also big factor, which is extremely exciting, kind of in deciding to take that step, was that I found my Grail doll head, which is the People Sexy Shushu. Um, and, well, I, I bought her. She just mailed out this morning, I believe. And she's on her way to me. And it, I'm just, every time I see a picture of her, of the head and think about it it's just so so exciting you know I have no idea what to name her I have no idea what her character is gonna be I have no idea what what style I want her to be you know I have absolutely no idea I'm just so excited for the doll and that reminded me a lot of how I first started in the hobby where I got my first doll and you know everything kind of went on from there and that's just such an amazing feeling and I realized that I've been missing that a lot and the way I've been collecting also didn't encourage that at all because I was like oh I have this very set story and characters and I need to shell them and I mean it's of course nice to have all your characters shelled but, well, I think I 
my rethink that because like a lot of the dolls then I wasn't really that excited about actually like a lot of these dolls on their own I probably wouldn't get them if I didn't have the character and well that's yeah probably part of why the dynamic is off actually so all the dolls that I wasn't invested in I mean her okay her I got also to sh reshell my first BJD um, but you know I s this is a bit different she's already a few years old as well so but with the other dolls, I don't know, sometimes, do you also have that where you want to shell a character so bad that you're just looking for any doll and, like, you don't find any doll you actually like, but there's one that's kind of, like, good enough, and you end up getting it, but then you're also not that happy with it? Yeah, I mean, I feel really stupid for it, but, you know, I guess it's part of the process, and I decided now that I'm just gonna have fun now, and I think getting getting the people sexy shushu is gonna be a big part of it and also the decision to let go of my dolls kind of frees up so much mental space to work on the ones that i am attached to and that i am keeping and it's just it kind of just rekindles that love and passion and flame that i used to have for my hobby and for this for, for for my bjds and it's just it's really exciting to go forward um yeah so can't wait <laughs> to make all the changes and you know there's so many things i want to make for my dolls and it's just yeah kind of so exciting now, you know, now that I made the decision, like, okay, I'm letting go of the dolls that are not really adding. I mean, it's really, like, whatever they say in minimalism and declutter, does it spark joy? And those dolls, somehow, yes, but not enough. And um, I do think they need a nicer home, and they do deserve a nicer home, because these are beautiful dolls. Anyway, these are still really beautiful dolls. So, I mean, if you are interested in anything, you know, and it's not like five years later after I posted this video, you can go and check my Instagram because I will be uploading them there as well. And yeah, I am also going to post, a f I have a few more videos that I am planning and that I just need to edit as well that I'm going to post. So I hope to be a lot more active again and uh come to you with updates and talks and i actually have have tea here i didn't drink it all but it's it's a great feeling to be excited about the hobby again it's a great feeling and also you know downsizing helps you to just focus on what you like and uh, what you care most about so that's really great and um, I might do an updated doll collection at the end of this year, I hope. So yeah, what do you think? Did you have these experiences as well? And what did you do? Or was it always perfect and you loved every single doll and you didn't even bother with like shelling a character if you didn't find the right doll? Or how did you go about it? Do you just collect for purely the aesthetics or do you also like to focus on character and dolls i'm really curious to hear your opinions and responses in the comments so yeah thanks for watching thanks for listening to my awfully long talk and i see you very soon have a great day and um go spend some time with your dollies <laughs>